In today's video, I'm revealing seven amazing evergreen print-on-demand niches that you definitely don't want to miss out on. All of these are ones that I haven't just found. These are all niches that I personally sell in every single month. They've done super well for me and have continued to do really well this year. Some of them I expect to do even better in the coming months, so you definitely don't want to miss any of these. I'm Hannah, and on this channel, I share about all things print-on-demand and making passive income, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Now let's jump into these niches. The first niche is one that would be perfect right now when we are approaching 4th of July, but this also is an evergreen niche that sells month after month and it could sell really any time of year, any year. And that is going to be the niche that is half American and then half some other nationality. Now, there are so many ways that you can actually spin this or do this. One of the simplest ones that you could do is just simply do a cross of an American flag with another country's flag. And that is all the design is. Or you could take so many different niches and you could do something like half American, half Thai nurse. There's nothing I can't do. You can mix it with any profession. You could do any really combination of nationalities, but especially in the United States market, anything that's mixed with a USA nationality and some other country's nationality, those do really, really well. And especially this month as we're getting in on those 4th of July designs, you definitely don't want to miss marketing to those people who also have other nationalities, not just want to celebrate the 4th of July. So this is a great niche to target. I have made many sales in kind of a combined nationality niche, and definitely this is not going anywhere anytime soon. You don't want to miss this one. This next niche is one that I started seeing kind of take off towards the end of last year, and I made quite a few designs in this niche, and many of them have done super well. I am still getting monthly sales for a couple designs in this niche, so I definitely think that, that this will continue to do really well. And that is going to be doing Christian kind of Bible verse designs in a retro groovy style. So I've talked about it a million times before, but that groovy retro style is so popular. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And the Christian religious niche, that always does well. So a lot of times if there's two things that are doing well, you marry them together, you have a winning design. And it definitely seems like it's the case with this situation. So there are so many great verses and Christian quotes that you can do, but just by putting them in a really fun font with some really nice colors that I'm seeing continue to sell very, very well. Now, how I would do this is you definitely could just look up some of the top trending Christian shirts and then take the verses and the phrases that are doing well and then just put them in this retro groovy style and I think you really could have a winning design here. This retro style doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime soon so still a great one to jump on with. While it has trendy elements I don't just think it's just a trend especially if you're doing kind of these Christian verses because that is definitely an evergreen design that's not going anywhere anytime soon. I think you can make many designs like this and do very, very well in this niche. This next niche that I'm about to reveal is actually my number one best-selling niche of all time. I've talked about it a little bit before, but I want to continue encouraging you guys to look into this niche because it is such a moneymaker, and that is actually going to be the political shirt niche. So no matter what your opinions on politics are, either side, you can really make a lot of money if you're going to sell political shirts. Now, there are so many ways you can do this that could end up getting you in trouble with places like Amazon or Etsy, and that is if you're really going after specific people, you're doing really derogatory things, or you're just saying something that kind of is a little bit out there. So I always like to kind of stay away from anything that could be very, very controversial. So where I've had the most success is really in kind of trying to target to a very specific person. So for example, if you wanted to sell some kind of Republican shirt. So I haven't had as much success just making a very generic design, but if you can kind of hone in and sub-niche on that specific thing, which is something I talk a lot about. I have a whole video on sub-niching here. It's probably the most important skill you can learn in print on demand, but I will sub-niche and do something like maybe a Republican grandpa or a conservative hairdresser. So really, if you can marry kind of these two different things, you have a very specific sub-niche that is going to do well. But as we are approaching an election year next year, things are only going to ramp up and maybe get more divisive, more heated. And whenever there is something 
politically or in the news that kind of has two sides to it, or there's just a lot of chatter around this thing, shirts sell like crazy. So definitely you want to be preparing for the end of this year and next year where political designs, anywhere politically on the spectrum that you fall in the United States, there is definitely money to be made. So don't miss out on that. And I'm not as familiar with the politics of other countries, but if you do know that there are things that are selling well or ways that you can make designs and shirts for that, political shirts really are such a money maker. I continue to make the most sales in this month after month, so it's not something you want to miss out on. Now, the next evergreen niche that does really well, I've seen this kind of niche selling well for several years in a row, and that is going to be the niche of mental health. So there are kind of two different ways that you could take this, and both of them sell very, very well. The first one is all about kind of mental health matters, making sure people are prioritizing mental health, and just really caring about your mental health but there's also the other side of just kind of more sarcastic jokes about mental health, not really about other people, but kind of talking about your own mental health, how we're all struggling, we're all anxious people here. And so both of those kind of mental health niche shirts are doing very, very well. And there are so many ways that you can take this. Definitely that groovy retro aesthetic lends itself super well to a design like this that might be more text-based, but I've seen a lot of mental health shirts with more kind of flowery, very fun graphics with them. That is a great idea to take this, but definitely that mental health niche is a huge one. It's not going anywhere anytime soon as more and more people are kind of opening the conversation up, talking about mental health, and it's something that we're all a lot more aware of over the last few years. Now, the next niche that is doing so well, it started off kind of more as a trend, I think, during the pandemic era. But as we've gone over the last few years, I think this is becoming more and more of an evergreen niche that is not going anywhere. At least this year, it seems like it's going strong still. And that is going to be that cottagecore niche. Now, cottagecore has kind of branched off into several other kind of sub niches. You have kind of that more fairy core. There's like a more or witchy or even like goblin core aesthetic but you also just have a lot of people that are getting more into homesteading just hobby farming all of those kind of of the earth cottagey old hobbies and crafts but people are really still just loving that really cottage core nature vibe this niche does really well with just simple graphic designs you don't have to say anything on your shirts you can kind of just put some distressed kind of grungy cute cottagey items. We see animals in cottage core doing really, really well, or just plants and flowers. So, so many ways that you can take this. And honestly, cottage core as a keyword is just a good one to include in a lot of other types of design. So if you're doing kind of a nature design, an earth design, a farming design, try to include the word cottage core. And I think that's going to help you get some extra attraction and sales on those types of designs. Now, the next niche that does super, super well continues to rank year after year in many different sub niches for this niche, and that is going to be themed birthday shirts for kids' birthday with like a corresponding age to them. So yes, that sounds super specific, but a lot of times the more specific, the better. What I mean by something like this is you could make a shirt for a five-year-old girl's mermaid themed birthday party and do something very specific for that. And what I like about this kind of design is it's both scalable and there's opportunities to sell more than just one shirt. So for scalability, you could do your mermaid birthday themed shirt and then put ages one through maybe 12. Or you could do one for like a Dalmatian themed birthday party or a truck themed birthday party. So there are many, many ways you could take this but you also have the opportunity with any of these kind of birthday themes, you could do a shirt for like mom of the birthday girl, dad of the birthday girl, brother, aunt, grandma, you name it, or even guests so they could get like a themed birthday shirt for all of the kids there. I love making designs where there's a potential to make more than one sale on an item because it's nice to get one sale, but if you can get a whole family to buy a shirt for each person, that is amazing. Now, one thing to be aware of with this is you do not want to infringe on any IPs or trademarks of any other people. So you want to stay away from themes like Marvel, it, superheroes even sometimes, things like Sesame Street. So any recognizable character you cannot use, but there is still so many different themes. Like right off the top of my head, ones that you could do are things like jungle. You could do something like adventurer, mermaid, princess, construction equipment, animals, 
the possibilities are really endless. So if you can do some research, see what trending birthday party themes are doing really well right now and make shirts for that, that is a great opportunity to make sales. Now, this next niche seems like one we just can't get away from because of how well it continues to do. It seems like in my newsletter where I share niches, which definitely subscribe to that if you're not already. I share new niches there every single week. But it seems like in that almost every single week, I'm including some kind of design for this specific niche because they just keep trending and going crazy. Now, the niche that I'm talking about is that library and reading niche. This niche has just exploded over the last few years. So nothing about reading is a trend at all. This is definitely an evergreen design, but so many people have really gotten into reading. And during the summer months too, I see a lot more reading shirts start to sell as we are doing summer reading programs. Lots of people just have more time to enjoy reading. So this is a great niche. Now there are tons of sub niches within this. You can target different kinds of readers. So like readers of thrillers or fantasy, or there's even like the sub niche that has been doing really well lately I've seen is shirts about banned books and reading banned books as a lot of people are talking about that. But just reading as a hobby is something more and more people are doing. And I think that people who consider themselves readers, they like to talk about it. They like people to know that they're reading. So having a shirt that talks all about reading is just something that a lot of people are loving. It's a great gift to give somebody. Just do a little bit of research about what types of reading shirts are selling well, or think of your own reading phrases and trends. But definitely this reading niche is going to continue to sell. I have been selling so many reading and book shirts lately. I have some reading shirts that it's almost been a year since I uploaded. I heard crickets and then in the last couple of months they have just really taken off, got those first sales and then just exploded. Yes, there are tons of reading shirts out there, but there are so many sub niches and new phrases to target. So it's really not an overly competitive space if you can kind of find a sub niche within that reading niche to target a really, really great one to go for. Now I have several more evergreen niches for you guys, but I couldn't put them all in this one video. So actually they are all here. Make sure you check that out to get the whole entire complete list of all of these evergreen niches that you should be targeting right now to make the most profit in your print on demand business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.